Hello everyone, this is Dr. Romero. This is the week one video for those enrolled in ECE 111, Society, Family, and Diversity at Eastern Gateway Community College for the spring 2020 semester. I wanted to take a moment to sort of lay the foundation for what this week will look like for you all in this course. So if you have had a chance to look through the course syllabus, um, which I hope that everyone has taken uh, a moment at this point in time to look at it, we're going to really be talking about a lot of things in this course. We're going to talk about how we work with kids and their families to ensure that they are you know, positively contributing, mem uh, mem positively contributing to uh, society. We're going to be talking about family structures. We're going to be talking about uh, community and social issues that affect the lives of students and their families. We're going to be thinking about things like children's self-esteem, self-reliance, family involvement, greater, greater social structures that um, impact and shape thought and action. And so there are going to be lots of different topics pertaining to multiculturalism, uh, methods of integrating intergenerational government, ecology, geography, all these things into practice uh, as a teacher. And we're also going to be th talking about parent school community partnerships and the importance of relationship building. So there are a lot of really, really cool topics that we're going to cover in ECE 111 that I'm very excited about. They're things that I'm passionate about teaching. So I'm really excited to hit the ground running this week with course material. I wanted to take a moment to quickly talk about what is expected for week one and what is expected for particular topics, I'm sorry, for particular uh, assignments moving forward. So when you log on to LoudCloud, you go to your homepage and you click into the ECE 111 folder, you're going to see that week one is entitled A Diverse Society. Under week one, there are two lessons. You are to complete both lessons and all assignments within both lesson folders um, by the end of the week. So this is not a self-paced course. Everything has due dates and you work week by week. You cannot go back a week and you cannot forward go forward a week. So there are two lessons within A Diverse Society's week. My recommendation is that you read the folders entitled Lesson 1 Assignments and Lesson 2 Assignments before doing absolutely anything else. So the way that the course is structured, it has you um, it has listed assignments, discussion board, activity, and then Lesson 2 Assignments, discussion board, activity. X that out. I want you to read what the assignments are for each week, so that means get all of your readings and video videos out of the way, and then move into doing discussion boards. So each week you're going to have two sets of discussion boards to do, one in the Lesson 1 folder, one in the Lesson 2 folder. There are two questions per folder, and so what that means is that you have a total of four questions to answer by Wednesday of each week. This is why it is so important for everyone to keep up with readings and to get to work right right away as soon as the folders open up. So your initial response to your peers, um, your initial responses are due by Wednesday of each week. Your initial response to each question can be no fewer than 150 words. So four responses, each response must be no fewer than 150 words, and those initial responses to questions are due on Wednesdays by midnight Eastern time. Then you have to respond to two peer responses per discussion board. So for lesson one's discussion board, you respond to two peer responses. For lesson two discussion board, you respond to two peer responses. And your peer responses can be no fewer than 100 words in length. Again, no fewer than 100 words. So that means that you're needing to ensure that you are providing students and colleagues feedback if you agree with something, tell them that you agree and give some rationale and some reasoning and evidence as to why. If you disagree with something, feel free to disagree, but provide evidence and rationale as to why. Be descriptive. The more engaging the conversation is, the more that you're going to get out of this course. So 
Um, the other major assignment that you have to do, which is due at the end of the week um, on the 19th, I believe, is, and if it's not the 19th, it's whatever next Sunday is, um, or the Sunday at the end of this week, is something called a diversity self-reflection. And so what this diversity self-reflection is having you do is to reflect on what your personal meaning or interpretation is of the term diversity, because we're going to be talking a lot about cultural diversity. Um, this assignment needs to be on a Word document. On the upper left-hand corner, you need to have your first and last name, your professor's name, the course code and title, which is ECE 111 Society Family Diversity, and the date. And then in the center, provide a title of your choice. Your actual response needs to be double-spaced, no fewer than 300 words, but it absolutely cannot be any more than 500 words in length. So points will be deducted whether they're shorter than 300 or longer than 400, so be mindful of that. You are allowed to write in first person because this is a personal reflection, and you're not allowed to search for the definition or academic meaning of diversity. So the purpose of this paper is for you to later see what your initial meaning is and interpretation is, and how that has changed over time after unpacking um, a ton of the course material. So that is going to be due on Sunday, and it is worth 20 points. These are the things that are due this week. So just to reiterate, initial, peer, initial discussion board responses for both lessons are due this Wednesday by midnight. Your peer responses for each lesson's discussion board posts are due Friday, and your diversity self-reflection assignment is due on Sunday. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via email, j-r-o-m-e-r-o -E at ugcc.edu. I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm happy to help guide you in any way. Um, and feel free to reach out. Best of luck this week. I look forward to working with you, and I'm excited to see what everyone writes about. Take care.